I don't know what you want me to say. Say something. If you're so unhappy, maybe we should... Maybe it's time to... I know. Let's just get through Christmas. They're here! They're here! Hey guys, how are you? Hey! Say cheese! See? Cool. Mine's exactly like his except pink. Chad, Ashley, it's so good to see you. I'm sorry about your leg. Well, slow but sure. How was the drive? Well, it was fine, except for one tip, causing Chad to have to pull over, but everybody did pretty well. Yeah, at least we made good time. Which we know is the goal of any good road trip. Makes sense to me. I'm sure. Hey, the shorter the time on the road, the shorter we have to referee the back seat. We? Since when did you get in on any of the action? I had to keep my eyes on the road, babe, and press on. I was only thinking of you. <laughs> All right. right. Of course you beat me here again. Man, you have to be first <laughs> at everything. Mark. Ah, Julie. Uh, how, how are you guys? I'm sorry about the house. It's awful. We're doing okay. People have been very nice. We'll get through it. Well, hopefully we can raise enough money at the hoedown to help. Oh, anything would help. The fire left us with nothing. Thank you so much for hosting this event. It really means the world to us. Stop. Mark is like another brother in this family. Of course we want to help. Is Holly here yet? Uh, you're kidding, right? She's picking up your parents on the way, too. Oh, so she'll be later than usual. It gives her a good excuse, doesn't it? What's all the commotion? <laughs> well, look who finally decided to get up. Hey, I've been up. Who can see with all the rackets she makes? You should be used to that in the dorms. Why do you think I'm getting an apartment this semester? You're looking quite smart, Steph. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover. Stop it, Kurt. Thank you, Aunt Ashley. Colors must agree with you. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Chad! Ashley! <laughs> Mom! Where are the kids? They're somewhere here at the end. Dad, how are you doing? Ah, uh, don't worry about me. I still got some kick in me. Yeah, good old kick in the pants, Lord help oh. us. Hey. hey kids, Grandma and Grandpa are here. Nice of you to make it, Hall. What? We're not late. Oh no, not according to Holly time. Well, I did have to pick up Mom and Dad. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's Mike? Mike swamped at work. Mm. He couldn't get away. Again? Hey, how's new college girl? Awesome. How's it going? That's awesome. Have you met any cute guys? Tons. There's this one guy, Ted, whose dad is a doctor. Grandpa. Keep your eyes on the sun. And you will not see the shadows. And, and look at you two. Emma, Cody, my you two have grown like weeds. My babies are growing. Did you bring them, Grandpa? You know it. Got them right here in my pocket. Hey, kids, come here, all of you. Got one for everybody. Little words to brighten any day. I've had mine for two weeks, and I've read it over and over again. It's like carrying God in your pocket. Thanks, Grandpa. Yeah, yeah thanks. thanks. You're welcome. Now hold on to those. I don't have any more left. Hey, everyone's here. How about a round of landmines? Why not? Sure, sounds like fun. You haven't played that in years. Landmines? What's that? No landmines. The Landry family tradition. Start with the A and then move to the B and come up with a word for each letter you see. Then you pass off. Let's do the opposite team and they shout out each word till they've lost all their steam. What? I don't understand. If someone on your team gets stuck, they can tag another team. Take their place. The team. Confused. 
How do I know when to tag out? Can I talk when I act out the words? Good grief, Steph. You're making this much harder than it needs to be. It's just like charades. They will get it if we just play. The game's not hard. Can we get started today? Kurt, it's not the same as charades. I think I should go over the rules one more time so everyone is clear. It's just like charades. They will get it if we just play. Then you pass off your clothes to the opposite team. Men on this side, women over here. Come up with your words. Play the game. There are rules you must follow. Play the game. Every person takes a turn. Play the game. You can sit there on the sidelines. Play the game. If you don't know, you can learn. It's a shame. If you don't join it. Ladies first, I'll be the judge and timekeeper. Can we do it together? Sure, you guys want to go first? Yeah. Bumper cars! We're on letter A. Awkward. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm over here? Oh, no, accident! Got it, you take B. Yes. Blubber mouth. Hey, that's cheating. Bossy. Hey. <laughs> you can take off if you want. Blabber mouth. Time. Okay, who's going first for the guys? Let me show you how it's done. Whatever. <laughs> Play the game. There are rules you must follow. Play the game. Every person takes a turn. A. Agile. Good guess, Dad. Awkward. <laughs> come, on, come on, come on. Acrobat? Yeah, that's it. That's Mark, it. you take B. Okay, guys, this is going to be easy. Fairy. Bird? Buzzard. Bob White. B bug. Bumblebee. Oh, B-52 bomber. Time. What? No fair. The girls had way longer than that. Sorry, Charlie. Mark, don't say anything. You guys still have to get that one. Okay, Grandma. See. Creepy. <laughs> Clobber. I have never seen this side of her. I sure have. Uh, combat? Thank heavens, I don't think I could have gone on much longer. Okay, okay thanks. Come on, Mom, you're wasting time. It's too hard. Time. Okay, guys, here's your chance to catch up. Mark, you're still on. What? I still have to do butterfly again? Oh, uh, okay, ladies, come up with another B word. Play the game. There are rules you must follow, play the game. Every person takes a turn, play the game. You can sit there on the sidelines, play the game. If you don't know, you can learn, it's a shame. If you don't join in and play the
ballerina. Go, Grandpa, yeah. UFC. Yes. Bam. <sighs> Got it, Grandpa? Come on, Dad. Give, give us something, anything. Here, Dad, take me. That's right, Henry, take that. Here, Cody, I'll need your help for this one. Ooh, Time catapult, to what? Leave. No fair, I got that, that should count. Nope, too late, LOL. Okay, Mom, D. Um, I'll take Ashley. You have to try it first. No, give somebody else a chance. Everybody takes a turn. I've played enough. So are you giving up? I just can't do this. Mom? I'm done playing games. Anybody hungry? I think Pam's right. We've done enough for today. Holly, you want to help me? Hmm, I guess the girls win. <laughs> it's a shame if you don't join in and play the game. It should have been a tie. What was mom's word anyways? Divorce. It's only me. Well, where is everybody? Do you know how early it is? Well, I know it's morning. And you know that the early bird hits the ground running. <sighs> Doesn't the early bird catch the worm? Oh, I suppose. Good morning, Madge. Good early, early morning. Howdy doody, Pam. I need to go over some of the details of the hoedown with you. And what better time to get started than now? Besides, it's almost six. We've lost a couple of hours. And you know, the procrastination is the thief of time. I'll start some coffee. Great. <laughs> so I was thinking we should have some square dancing and a hayride in the snow and, and a fiddle contest. And how about barbecue sandwiches? Jump in if you have anything to add. Well, I think that we should do a raffle and that we should have games for the kids and even a country western band. I was lucky enough to get Billy Joel. Billy Joel? As in the piano man, Billy Joel? Heavens no. Billy Joel, as in Billy Joel and the old time hickory band. We were thinking more simple, Madge. Our barn is only so big. And we're more than happy to help the walkers, but the point is to raise as much money as we can for them. We don't need a lot of added expenses. Of course not. But the more fun we have planned, the more people will come, and we could be making money hand over head. I think that's hand over fist match. Listen, if an event is not properly planned, people will not respond. Is this the Landry's? Yes. You must be Seth. I'm mm -hmm. Billy Joe. This is Billy Ray. That's Billy Jean. And... Let he... me guess. He's Billy Bob. No, that's Ed. Come on in, guys. You can sit up right here in front of the couch. Uh, Madge, who are these people? Well, it's the band, silly. They're here so that you can hear them play. <sighs> I was fortunate enough to get them, and for free. So, yeah, I heard them this summer at the county fair. They were the opening act of the opening act of the main stage of entertainment. What are they doing here? This early in the morning. Seth, they're musicians. 
What else do they have to do? Besides, it was either now or nine o'clock tonight. And who, in their right mind, is still awake at nine o'clock in the evening? <laughs> Plus, they all have full-time jobs. I thought you said that... Never mind. Um, why are there so many people here so early in the morning? One word. Madge. Oh. Uh, Madge, would you like some coffee? Oh, I need some coffee. Oh, heavens no, dear. I never touch this stuff. Besides, Pam, you need to wake up and smell the roses. That stuff could make a person downright jittery. Can we get started? But here, hmm, let me check on the band. I can't find it. You can't find what? My little Bible. I can't find it anywhere. It's probably in your room somewhere. No, I looked. Maybe it just got mixed up in your covers. No, I took them all off. What if it's under your bed? No, I looked there too. I can't find it. Come on, I will go help find it. Uh, Pam, why did you agree to this? We already have too much to deal with. The holidays, dealing with dad, the kids are home. As if our stress levels weren't high enough, you add in good old mini Pearl. We have to help. The Walkers lost everything. This is our chance to do something for them. Holly and Ashley said they would come over tomorrow to help with food. And Chad said they would help set things up in the barn. All right, but can we get Calamity Jane and the Wild Bill Hickok show out of our living room? Play nice, Seth. I know Madge can be a bit overbearing, but her heart's in the right place. I know we couldn't pull off this whole Christmas hoedown thing if it weren't for her. Mom, have you seen my little Bible? The one that Grandpa gave me? Oh, honey, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. We'll find it. I looked all over my bedroom and I've looked here. I can't find it. Erin, the house is just too full of commotion right now. But I just had it last night. We'll find it. We'll just look for it later. What if we can't find it? What are we going to do? We'll find it. And if we don't, I'm sure we can get you another one. I don't want another one. I want the one Grandpa gave me. Erin, you heard your mother, okay? Not now. It'll have to wait. Any luck? No, but I did find this. What's that? Spider-Man for Nintendo. I speak Kurt. He's old. I don't know what else to do. Um, we could pray. My dad said that never hurt. We could try that, but how do we know if he hears us? I don't know, at least it might make you feel better. Maybe. Howdy doody, everyone! <sighs> we need to go over the schedule of events for the hoedown, so come on, join me here in the living room. Good morning, good morning. Dear Jesus, I don't know if you're real or not, but if you are, can you bring back my little Bible? I don't know what else to do. Are you there, Jesus? Will you answer my prayer? Do you care, Jesus? Are you working down here? I've been told that you love me and you know what I feel and I pray. Are you all ready? Now to give you a taste of what this fine band can do for us, just sit back and enjoy the sounds of Billy Joe and the Old Time Hickory Band.
time country Christmas jamboree. We gather with the family round the tree. We sing the songs of Christmas, but with a country swing. There's laughter and excitement you can see. An old time country Christmas jamboree. Okay, if you like that sort of thing. All right, hold on here. Do you guys know any real Christmas music? Do we? One, two, three, four. Grandma got run over by a reindeer walking home from Ed's house Christmas Eve. That. Enough. Enough. Maybe we could do more traditional Christmas carols, okay? Hmm. Now y'all know that Billy Joe and the band will be our main event, but I was thinking we should do some square dancing, some games for the kids, and maybe even hand out some prizes. Let's not forget what we're trying to do here. You know, Seth, if we could make people happy, a happy man is soon parted with his money. I'm pretty sure a fool and his money are soon parted. If this was all about money, no one would come. Let's face it, these are hard times for all of us. I agree with Madge. We could all use a dose of joy these days. That's right, it's Christmas. What better time? Then to you. spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. There is too much gloominess that darkens the sky. So spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. We all need sunshine to brighten our lives. It seems that no one ever laughs anymore. To crack a smile would be a sin. I think if happiness would knock at your door, You'd refuse to let her in. Spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. There is too much gloominess that darkens the sky. So spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. We all need sunshine to brighten our lives. We all could use a little joy in our lives. In our lives. Now that's for more than a day. Arms open wide, Jesus is the only way. Spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. There's too much gloominess that darkens the sky. So spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. We all need sunshine to brighten our lives. Well, I tried, Emma. I prayed. You're right. I do feel a little better. Now we'll see what God does. I'm like a buzzard. Don't you mean canary? Grandpa always tells me, keep your eyes on the sun and you will not see the shadows. So? Spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. There's too much gloominess that darkens the sky. So spread a little joy, spread a little happiness. We all need sunshine to brighten our lives. We all need sunshine. We all need sunshine. We all need sunshine to brighten up our lives. So I'm a big one for to-do lists, so I've divided out jobs. I need more coffee. 
Seth, I put you in charge of the barn setup. And Pam, darling, I put you in charge of the kitchen. There's your list. And Kurt and Steph, Kurt and Steph, hmm, you're in charge of kid games. Isn't there something I can do? Oh, sweetie, I, I think I got it all covered. There has to be something I can do. Oh, honey, I'm sure there's something. Hey, maybe you can help us watch over Grandpa. You can count on me, Mom. Well, my job here is done. <laughs> Y'all have your assignments. Don't let me down. And just remember, all work and no play makes Seth a crazy boy. Doll boy. That, too. Spread a little joy. Spread a little happiness. There is too much gloominess to pack in the sky. So spread a little joy. Spread a little happiness. We all need Is this hoedown really worth the extra effort, especially this time of year? We have to do what we can. Besides, now we've got help. Well, it is kind of scary, you know. Something like this can happen to any of us. <sighs> Who knows what life could throw at you? Things don't turn out like we imagined. We just have to make the best of it. When I was a kid, my head was full of dreams, plans and ideas about what life would become. Then I grew up and realized it's not that easy. Plans change, people disappoint you, and dreams are hard to reach. Life has a way of working out. Not always. <laughs> Some things are out of our control, out of our hands. Your dad's illness, for one. My dad's got some good years left. What a tough way to finish. Slowly forgetting everyone and everything you've known. Boy, someone needs a better night's sleep tonight. Yeah, maybe. It looks like things are going well for you. Uh, I guess. Don't be so excited about it. Oh, I'm happy. Business is good then? Uh, yeah, but I've been putting in a lot of hours. I hear you there. Some days I never stop running. I think I'm getting too old for this. I'm tired of working in the heat in the summer, the cold in the winter. I need a job like yours where I can stay indoors and sit in a chair all day. <laughs> you know, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, well, it looks pretty nice to me right now. Well, what you see on the outside doesn't always match the inside. Looks can be deceiving. But uh, anyway, how's Dad? How is he really? Depends on the day. Some days he's himself. Other days, he's slipping. And Mom? She's OK. Two weeks ago, he wandered out of the house in the middle of the night. She found him down the road before he got too far, but I know she's had trouble sleeping ever since. Do you think it's time to... Don't say it. It's got to be hard for Mom to realize he's not the man he used to be. For all of them. I'm sorry we don't live closer. Yeah, me too. Do you ever look at your life and wonder how you got where you are? Can you pinpoint the moment things changed? I'm not sure what you mean. Did you imagine, 20 years ago, the problems you'd face now? I try not to think about it. I don't know, things have turned out pretty much the way I imagined it. You didn't expect anything to be different? I can't think of anything. You're happy with every aspect of your life? <laughs> of course, why wouldn't I be? There's nothing you wish was different? Well, it can't just be me, is it? Holly, help me out here. There's nothing you wish was different in your life? Well, I don't know. You're happy with every aspect of your life? Yes, Pam, you doubt that? It doesn't bother you that 
Mike never comes to family things anymore? Mike's schedule is very full. He can't get off for extended visits. Why do you want to dwell on the negative, Pam? What good could that do? You don't need to explain. I'm sorry I brought it up. There's nothing wrong with us if that's what you're worried about. We're okay. Do you like where you are? We're fine. We're fine. I'm sorry, Holly. It's not you. It's... It's Seth and I. What is it? I don't think we're going to make it. So, what about you? Apart from Dad, how's life? Uh, you know, ups and downs. Like everybody. Like what? What is this, Dr. Phil? You're my brother, aren't you? So? So can't a guy know what eats at his brother? Why? Why not? Look at us. We're as different as night and day. I'm an ordinary guy who never left the farm he grew up on. You're this business executive in the city. What do we have in common? A childhood, parents, values. Forget. Sorry I asked. I'm not good at this, Chad. It's nothing personal. We've grown up, Seth. I'm just not used to talking about myself. Well, give it a shot. Tell me something good about your life. Well, my family's healthy. I've got food on the table every day. I suppose that's something. Yep. I still enjoy farming. Keeps me occupied all day so I don't have to think about stuff. Stuff like dad? Dad. Oh, yeah. That's not what you meant. There's something else, isn't there? No, I'm fine. What is it, Seth? Nothing. Here, help me with this string of lights. Don't change the subject. Drop it, all right? Everything's fine. No, it's not. Don't treat me like a kid. I know what it is to have problems. It's not important. Let it be. Seth. Can't a guy have his privacy? Drop it, all right? It's, it's not about you. How can I help if I don't know? I don't need your help. Of course not. Not the almighty Seth. What do you know about it, Junior? That's all you ever think of me. Why do I expect things to be different? Pam's not happy, okay? What? Are you happy? You got the big secret. Do you feel better? Of course not. What's going on? I don't know. She wants something that I'm not. I can't do anything right. So then I work all day, but then she complains that I'm never home. Maybe... She'd be better off without me. That's not true. She's not happy with me. I don't want her to be miserable. How did we get here? What do you mean you're not going to make it? <gasps> Is it money problems? No, it's nothing like that. I don't know him anymore. What? He's always working. Seems like he uses the farm as an excuse to avoid me. He hardly talks, and I never know what he's thinking. He's there for the kids, but he doesn't go out of his way for me. We're strangers, living in the same house. Is it really that bad? He won't talk to me. Yeah. He's got this shell. I can't penetrate. I'm angry at him when he's gone and uncomfortable when he's home. I can't keep walking on eggshells. How did we get here? I wonder how 
I wonder why Here we are at this time Different people, separate lives Looking back, it's so hard to see Was there a time when we both stopped caring? Here we are at this time Different people, separate lives What caused a change, I can't explain Here we are, at this time Feeling hurt, feeling pain Looking back, it's so hard to see Was there a time when we both stopped caring? This time, different people, separate lives. Where do we go from
we greet our neighbors all throughout the year. But at Christmas time, there's always extra cheer. We celebrate together, no matter what the weather. There's always fun and joys that you can see. An all-time country Christmas jamboree. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare in room. Let heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Y'all come back next year now, you hear? It's been a great evening, but I have a special treat for y'all. I, my Sunday school class, they have been saving their offering for the walkers. And they have raised $43.26. And with all that you have all donated, we're at $4,700. Uh, Thirty-eight dollars and thirteen cents approximately, right in there somewhere. Woo! 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 But the evening's not over, so let's try to get that up over five thousand dollars, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> now, lest we forget the reason for the season, my fourth, fifth, and sixth grade Sunday school class from First Baptist Church has a special presentation for you, kids. That's your cue. <clears throat> And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree for, from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And the taxing was first made when Cyrerius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee into the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, into the city of David, which was called Bethlehem. Because... He was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was in those days while there, while there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields keeping watch over their flocks by night and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shone round about them and they were so afraid and the angel said unto them do not be afraid i bring you good news of great joy that will be to all people today in the town of david a savior has been born he will be christ the lord You'll find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. 
It's here, it's here. That's not in the script. <laughs> Look, I found my little Bible. I thought it was lost for good, but here it is. That's wonderful. Can we get back to the presentation? But I prayed about it, and look, it's a miracle. He's real, Jesus. He's really real, and he came here tonight, just like in the story. Of course he's real. That's why we celebrate his birth. And it came to pass that the angels were gone away into heaven, and the shepherds said one to another, let us now go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which God hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. The end. Woo! Now I think it's time for some square dancing. Let's bring out Billy Joe and the Old Time Hickory Band. Yeehaw! Grab your partner and form your squares. Hey, Kurt, go dance with your mother. Come on, Dad. You know I hate country music. Hey, this isn't exactly my favorite thing to do. Since when do you hate country music? You don't want to dance with Mom, do you? Fine, I get it. You go dance with Aunt Holly, I'll dance with Mom. Kurt. Hey, Mom, do you need a partner? Kurt. Come on, Ellen. Let's have a little fun. What's gotten into you? Why, don't you remember? They used to call me Bobbin Hoppin' Henry. I don't remember anyone calling you that before. And besides, I don't even think you've danced a step in your life. Well then, maybe it's time I did. Come on, honey. Let's cut her up. Uh, woo! <laughs> honor your partners. Honor your corners. Swing your partner around, she goes. The holes with balls of holly, fa la 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 la. Now follow it up with a do si do. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Promenade round and round with a left foot up and a right foot down. Don't be now a cowboy apparel, fa la 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 la. Sing the old time Christmas carol, fa la 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 la. On to the lady to the right. Bow to that lady. With a one and a two and a three and a four. Swing that girl that you adore. All are made left. Comb your hair and button your shoe. Promenade two by two. Oh, we do it and we measure. Fa la 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 la. While we sing of Christmas treasure. Fa la 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 la. Okay, okay. Out with the old and in with the new. Who's up for a little line dancing? Uh -huh. Yeah. They should be good. Well, it's time for the raffle. So take out your tickets 
Ellen Landry, will you join me up here, please? Oh, that is not necessary. Help me out, folks. Get her on up Declan, here. Yeah. Now, you all know that Ellen is known for her beautiful handiwork, and she has graciously donated a gorgeous quilt for our raffle this evening. Boys, bring that out and show the people how pretty it is. Mm, isn't that pretty? So, Ellen, I need you to draw us the winning ticket and read us the number. The number is 2743898. Oh, come on up and claim your prize. Yay. Oh my. Oh my. Thank you. <laughs> now, I think it's time for a little more music. So, let's have the band Play some more Woo! music for us, okay? And and before we call it a night. Excuse me, does anyone know this man? Henry! I found him walking down the road, so I stopped to see what I can do. He seemed you confused and unsure where he was. I'm fine. I just stepped out for a little air. How long were you gone? Well, it couldn't have been that long. We were just out on the floor dancing before the raffle. I'm fine, Ellen. It's time to go. Hey, Dad, maybe you should just go in the house and rest a while. I'm fine. Ellen, let's go. Okay, all right, kids. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. I'll walk you out. Um, okay, folks, let's have one more song. Hit it, y'all. Hi, Grandpa. Want to play cards? Sure, buddy. That's a great idea, Aaron. I'll go get the cards. Grandpa, meet you in the kitchen. Okay. Mom, we need to talk about Dad. I know what you're going to say, and you can stop right there. Well, Mom, we don't want a repeat of what happened last night. You know as well as I do that last night was unusual. Your father got confused with the commotion of the hoedown. That's all. Isn't that right, Seth? Maybe so. There. You see? We're fine. Mom, there's been a big change in him since last summer. Uh, Holly, you must see what I'm talking about. Back me up here. Well, there's been a change, but... I don't know. I think it's time to discuss our options. Should we start looking for a care facility? Nonsense. Hold on a minute there, Chad. You can't just waltz in here and start telling everybody what to do. You don't really know what it's like. Holly? Well, I mean, is that necessary? I mean, is it really that bad? <laughs> we can't ignore what's happening, people. You haven't been here long enough to know. Let me handle this one thing for you. There is nothing to handle. But it will get to that. Yeah, but it hasn't yet. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. We need to appreciate where we are. I'm not going to look so far into the future that I missed today. And you shouldn't either. But there must be something we can do. Look, your father had a rough day yesterday. That's all. He's not like this every day. Look, I'm not sticking my head in the sand here. 
I know he's declining, and we can't carry on like this forever, but for now, we're fine. I'm not so sure. I am. Trust me. <laughs> I know your father, and I know mine. God will show me when it's time to move him. But doesn't it wear on you, Mom? I get sad and scared, but I have hope. Hope that God will handle tomorrow. This is where we are. I can't change it. I have to accept it and make the best of it. What else can I do? Look, we're fine, honey. And I think your father's just fine. But I am kind of concerned about you and Pam. Mom. I know you think it's none of my business. Because it isn't. Hey, don't get <sighs> snippy with Mom. You can stay out of it, Junior. That's great, Seth. Real nice. I don't want to talk about it. But ignoring it won't make it go away. Here comes Dr. Phil again. Knock it off, Seth. I'm just trying to help. I don't need your help. What is your problem? Boys, that's enough. It's hard enough without the two of you at each other's throats. I now stop it. I'm tired of him trying to take over. You know, we managed quite fine when you weren't around, you know. Oh, so that's why Dad keeps wandering off, huh? Weren't you there last night, too? Why didn't Golden Boy notice he was missing? Boys, this doesn't solve anything. Just let it go. Show some respect. <laughs> what do you know about it? I'm not arguing over matters out of my control. No, you just stay safe and say nothing, don't you? You say enough for all of us. Mm. Are we in high school again? What's gotten into all of you? Have you considered counseling? Mom, I said I don't want to talk about it. Seth, <clears throat> don't give up on Pam. You can't. I don't know what else to do. It's hopeless. It is never too late. There's always hope. Where? You have to push forward. Dr. Phil, and now Oprah? <laughs> it's like Mom said, Seth. You have to press on and make the best of it. What? Nothing. <clears throat> I am sick and tired of you two treating me like no brain halfwit. There is nothing wrong with persevering. Some people find it honorable, noble even. Yeah, but those people aren't giving marriage advice to their brothers when their own isn't in the best shape. I'm not the one talking about divorce here. At least we're still together. As far as we know. What's that supposed to mean? We never see them anymore, Hal. Well, excuse me if my life isn't picture perfect like yours, Chad. Not everyone can be a Ken and Barbie. Here we go again. I'll have you know, both of you, that I worked hard for everything I have. You seem to think things just fall into my lap, but they don't. It's taken a lot of effort on my part. Hold on there, we're doing it again. We're on the same team, remember? Tell that to Hottie and Proud. Oh. Yeah, well... Maybe you'd rather have me uh, stay safe, huh, Chad? <laughs> wow, Holly. I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, well, I get tired of all the little jabs. No one's trying to hurt you. Really? You don't think I realize what's being said after I leave? What do you expect? You never give us the real story. You never ask. <laughs> you pretend as if everything is wonderful, but we're not stupid, Hall. We can tell it isn't. What do you want me to do? Spill my guts every time I come home? No, I'm not going to wallow in self-pity, not for you or anyone else. I'm going to keep my eyes straight ahead and do the best I can with what I have. Mm, and look how happy that's made you. I don't care what you think, Seth. It's the right thing to do. Mom would agree. She does it every day with Dad. No one says she's pretending. No one says you're wrong, dear. It's honorable and noble to keep looking ahead. See? But I understand why your brothers question you. You have no joy. Pressing on without hope is drudgery, and enduring for the sake of enduring is just missing the point entirely. Which is? Do you believe God can do something about it? Of course he can. But do you expect him to? Where are you going with this? Every problem, no matter what it is, a relationship, an illness, financial worry, Every problem is a gift from God. Things we can't control encourage us to seek the divine and long for something more than we see here. We keep going because we know with everything in us that God can make things better. But if we don't look for his hand, and if we don't expect him to work, then will he? that
God will see. Believe he can change it and rearrange it and trust that he knows best. He'll see good. Do you see the wonder, the excitement, the joy? That's why we keep pressing along. We're waiting for the miracle of his presence. I don't want to play anymore, Grandpa. Okay. <clears throat> What's the matter, buddy? We can't let it happen, Grandpa. We can't. Huh, what? You're okay, aren't you, Grandpa? There's nothing wrong with you. Is there? You don't really have to move away, do you? Is that, is that what they're talking about? And Mom and Dad, they aren't getting a divorce, are they? Please, Grandpa, tell me it isn't true. I don't, I don't know, buddy. They never tell me anything anymore. We can't let it happen, Grandpa. We just can't. If Mom and Dad get a divorce and you move away, what will happen to me? Oh, don't worry about that, Aaron. What will we do? Keep... Thinking I am. Keep... Keep... Oh, last... What is it? Grandpa? What is it, Aaron? What is it? You're scaring me, Grandpa. This, this saying, Aaron. Keep, keep. What, what is it? Keep your eyes on the sun and you will not see the shadows. Yes, that's it. It's, 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 say, say it again. Keep your eyes on the sun and you will not see the shadows. Keep, keep your eyes on the sun. And you will not see the shadows. Keep, keep your eyes on the sun, Grandpa. Sun. Keep your eyes on the sun. The, the sun? Yes, Grandpa. The sun. Keep your eyes on the sun, and you will not see. That's it, Grandpa. That's it. Keep your eyes on the sun. Come with me. I know what we need to do. Have y'all seen Aaron? Yeah, he was in the kitchen playing cards with Dad. Not anymore. Not again. Uh, let's get organized, people. Um, Holly, you take Mom home. See if they went there. Um, if not, wait to see if they show up. 
Kurt and Ashley, you take the kids, go into town, check out his friends' houses. Um, Stephanie, you check the park in the school, okay? Aaron's missing? And your dad? Yeah. What can we do to help? You guys can check the uh, bus station and the movie theater, okay? okay? I'll check the church and the train stop. I'm going with you. Uh, no, uh, you need to stay here in case they come back. But Pam will be here. No, you need to stay here. What? Nothing. Could you sit down? <sighs> Sorry. You know, they'll be okay. It'll be okay. I hope so. Let's not assume the worst. I'm not. You think I'm overreacting? I didn't say that. Of course not. You got something to get off your chest? Forget it. You know, it doesn't matter what I say. It's always wrong. It's better to keep my mouth shut. Inconvenient. What is that supposed to mean? Your lack of input leaves a lot of decision making up to me. And then you get what you want, don't you? I'm just trying to keep you happy. But I'm not. Don't I know it. I don't know what you want. I want a partner. Someone in my corner. Aren't we married? Isn't that what we do? Aren't we in this together? We're married. We live in the same house. But we are not partners. I don't know what you want, then. I'd like to be a priority in your life. What makes you think that you're not? You're home as little as you can be. I have work to do. But you use it to avoid me. You don't think I wish things were better? You don't think I lie awake every night wondering what I've done? How could I? You don't talk to me. I'm not keeping anything from you, Pam. Okay. There it is again, the belittling, the patronizing attitude that says I'm wrong. I didn't say anything. You didn't have to. I don't want to do this right now. Sure, let's keep sweeping it under the rug. Pretend it doesn't exist then. There it is again. Why is everything my fault? Don't you know that everything isn't about you? Everything about me? Everything about me? What are you talking about, Seth? When was the last time you did anything but eat or sleep around here? When's the last time you asked me how my day was or picked Aaron up from school? When was the last time you did anything for me? I can't win. Sure. Things get tough and you walk away. What do you want me to do? Stick around for more of this? No thanks. Must be nice to check out when life gets hard. That's not fair. Isn't it? You let your mom and I take care of everything with your dad. Don't bring dad into this. There's nothing I can do. I don't know what to say to him. You and mom, you're good with him. He doesn't need me. You're his son. We can't replace you. He wants you, Seth. He needs you. Your mom needs you. I... Why can't you say it? Let it go. You don't want to depend on me. I can't depend on you. You don't trust me. You don't love me! <sighs> You're wrong, Pam. I do love you. You used to smile when I walked in the room. We used to laugh. 
After that, Seth, how did we get here? Life takes its toll. Leaves no change. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm trying to give you what you want. But I want you. We can't keep doing this. I'm sorry, Seth. I know I don't make it easy on you. Me too. I'm sorry, too. How can we get past this? Hope comes from believing. What did you say? My mom. She said hope comes from believing. I don't understand. If we don't believe that God will do something about it, will he? I don't want to hurt you anymore, Pam. Me either. I don't think we can do this on our own. Look at the mess we've been trying. We have to find hope. How? Are you there, Jesus? Will you answer my prayer? Do you care, Jesus? Can my burdens you bear? Jesus, bind us together. Make us one with your hand. Help us love one another that our marriage may stand. Do you care, Jesus? Can our burdens you bear? Are you there, Jesus? Will you answer our prayer? I believe that God is still working miracles. I know where Dad and Aaron are. <laughs> Come on. Where are we going? Answer my prayer. Maybe he'll do another miracle. This, this is the miracle. Keep your eyes on the sun. This is why we have hope, Aaron. Jesus told his disciples once, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, so keep your eyes on the sun. And you will not see the shadows. Keep believing. And keep on hoping. Keep believing. And keep on trusting. What about Grandpa? Keep believing, Aaron. God will do what's best. 
believe in God's power to save from this hour. Believe a miracle is waiting at your door. So keep believing, keep believing, and keep on hoping. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. My name is John Eads. I'm associate pastor here at Calvary. Didn't they do a great job? <laughs> Troy is the director and uh, the whole cast and crew and everybody's been working really hard. Lots of late nights dealing with sickness and as you saw tonight, injury. <laughs> and everybody's been working really hard to make this a good performance. We thank them for doing that. Um, the reason that they're doing this play is to share a message. And as they've talked about, God is capable of repairing relationships. The relationships in the family were what we focused on tonight, but it's very important to understand that God's relationship with us is the first and foremost relationship that he talks about in the Bible. Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, but the Bible gives us hope. In John 3.16, it says, God so loved the world that he sent his only son that whoever believes in him can have eternal life. As we celebrate Christmas, it's a great time to remember Jesus coming, and that's why we celebrate the season. I wanted to tell you a story about a friend of mine named Tom. I first met him in January of last year. Um, he was living on the streets, and he had reached out to another church um, and asked for some help. Now, Tom grew up on the streets himself. 
At the time I met him, he was in his late 50s, but as a child, he lost his mom and never knew his father, and he was raised by his aunt, who didn't really show him any love or affection. So he found a group of, of young kids about his age and grew up in that, that gang that they introduced him to on the streets. He did not find love and affection from them, but he found that he was useful. He lived in a, a mostly Hispanic neighborhood, and he was a white man that could speak Spanish and was used by that gang. They used him to drive drugs across the border from Mexico because he never got stopped because of his appearance. And as he got older, he was starting to realize his usefulness was wearing out. And he was looking for hope, hope somewhere in life. And he found in a book that he found in the library a tract or a pamphlet telling him about Jesus and the hope he could have there. And on the back of that, it was stamped by a Christian bookstore on the other side of the country and he didn't know what else to do, so he called the number from that bookstore. We have no idea how it got to be there, but he talked to the lady at the bookstore for a couple hours, and she led him to Jesus. She helped him understand his need for a savior. And through that, he found a church on the other side of the cities, and I was living in St. Paul, helping a church at the time, and they contacted us and said, can you reach out and see if you can help Tom? And Tom, just having come to know Jesus Christ as a Savior, didn't really know what to do with his life. And we were able to help him, get him to a hotel, get him to a safe and warm place, and help him start to learn how God wants him to live his life. As of this spring, Tom's been diagnosed with stage 4 cancer and had been given six weeks to live. At this point, he's still alive, um, and he's struggled a lot. In that time, he's had COVID twice, He's had no end of health issues because of his life of drugs and alcohol and all the difficulties that he went through living on the streets. But Tom told me recently when we were talking about how much joy he has in Jesus that now he's found love, the love of a Savior who cares about him, not just someone who looks at him as someone useful, someone helpful to his cause, but God cares about him personally. And something I was reminded of is in, John, or in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 9, it says, But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our sins and trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So in the coming ages we might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. And later on in that chapter it says, So when you are no longer strangers and aliens, but are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. So as we talked about families tonight and about God's ability to heal those families, or even God's ability to heal people who have been through situations, maybe their family's broken, Maybe a divorce has happened that couldn't be avoided or at a time before they knew Jesus. We don't know circumstances, but we know that God can give us hope and God can heal all of our problems in our lives, our relationships, our issues with others, our relationship with him most importantly. <laughs>